One of the hardest things to hear sometimes from your child is that they're being bullied. And sometimes we don't find out about it until it's been going on for quite a long time. And certainly from a school's perspective, that is definitely something that happens as well. Please try not to feel guilty. Please try not to blame yourself. It's often got absolutely nothing to do with the quality of parenting and the quality of safety that you're providing your child. There are very specific reasons why kids don't come forward and tell grown-ups that they're being bullied. One of the first reasons is that they feel ashamed. They feel the reason that they're being targeted is something that they own. Guilt and shame are two different things that we confuse a lot of the time. Guilt is often, I have done this thing, but shame and being ashamed is, I am this thing. So often when they've been repeatedly verbally bullied about being ugly or being dumb or stupid or any of those other things we know that they get told, they feel ashamed. The second one is that they're frightened of the repercussions and part of that is because they don't feel safe. One of the things that I have explained before is that as a parent, it is important for you to remain calm instead of absolutely exploding when you find out your child has come to this kind of harm. If you have an over-the-top explosion, they are going to be frightened about the repercussions and their sense of trust in how you're going to deal with it moving forward will actually, to be honest, be a bit shaky. The other thing that they're worried about especially in Australian culture, is our culture of we don't dob. We don't dob, we don't snitch. And actually that ends up with kids in the long term enabling really bad behaviours in their friends. So we are trying to keep, teach children that it's important to say something. If you see something, they need to say something. But you have to understand that they are very entrenched in a culture that is about not speaking up, especially if it's your mates. We do know that bullying behaviours are very interesting in that they're not often perpetrated by people they don't know. Often one of the reasons that they don't speak up is because it's actually people who used to be their friends or people who they have some kind of a learning relationship with at school or in their dance class or at football or something like that. The other reason that they don't come forward in Australia in particular is because kids believe that bullying actually, and, and, and this is really sad, they believe it's a rite of passage. Some kids are so entrenched in bullying behaviours in their school environments and other places that they hang out in that they see bullying so often they don't even identify it as bullying anymore and they also believe that, well, doesn't everyone get bullied? Isn't this something that I have to endure in order to be a grown-up? So that's one of the other reasons. And the other thing is that they do feel traumatised on some level. When kids are bullying, especially at the moment, we know that isolation is something that's used against them a lot. So they're feeling dehumanised and they're worried that people with the bullying behaviours might turn on them in really unexpected ways. Bullying behaviours are really fickle in that they chop and change from minute to minute, from day to day. And it feels like a really una uh, uneven landscape for your children to try and navigate. So that's the other reason why they don't come to you and speak to you about it. So please, the importance is for you to keep calm, for you to find out the reasons why they haven't come forward and to stand by them and help them navigate the bits and pieces that you're going to have to get over over the next little bit of time to help them heal this hurt.